month. Good evening, ma'am. Good evening. It's nice to see you all again. I haven't been here for a couple of months. Um, before I start talking about what I really came here to talk about, I was listening on the way here about the homework situation, so I want to put in my two cents as a teacher with experience. Um, one of the biggest problems with the homework situation is that as a district, we're required to assign iReady, Reading Plus, a numerous amounts of online activities, and that cuts into the time that the kids are doing the homework so that the teachers don't have the opportunity to give meaningful homework um, when it's needed. So you might want to take a look at that aspect, maybe cut out some of those computer programs that we are required because somebody is making money off of it. Um, whenever you want to know why, just follow the money. Um, I came here today to talk about future salaries yet again. I'm a little disappointed to see the lack of teacher support here. Um, but as you know, we know, we still have not come to an agreement as far as teacher raises for this year. And that's a little concerning since we're already in February. This week alone, um, although my principal would never require that I do anything outside of my contract, I ha it doesn't mean that she doesn't ask. I've been asked to um, supervise in the cafeteria during my duty-free planning. I have been asked to give ESOL tests during my planning time. Um, I have been asked to come in for FSA parent night on my own time. And these are all just extra things outside of my contractual agreement and outside of the payment that I receive for being a teacher for the past 26 years. Um, Sorry, I didn't know I was coming today, so I'm not 100% prepared as I usually am. Um, as an educator, I've been devastated by the lack of respect for us educators. Last year, teachers voted a 1% raise, um, which is not even covering the cost of inflation and the cost of living adjustment. Before that, the teachers agreed to allow the doing away of the steps. Before that, they allowed freezing of steps. Before that, salaries were frozen. We can't, we can't continue to be like this. Um, I get accolades. I get thank yous for everything I do. I think everyone in here, some of you have been in my classroom. I think everyone in here knows that I'm a dedicated, devoted teacher, and I do whatever I can for my students always. But that doesn't put food on the table. That, those thank yous are very nice, but it doesn't pay my two adult children's college tuition. I need you to all show me the money. This referendum was sold to us as a way to compensate or make teachers whole again. That's what we were told. But the money, it's not making us whole again because the $10,000 that we assumed we were going to get, it's not 10000 Okay, 6000 for four years is going to end after four years. So no, your, I'm, your time is up. You can wrap it up. Okay. So those $24,000 are not going to compensate me for the 10 years that I lost my steps, where I lost about $12,000 a year. Um, we really need to negotiate this contract. We need to pay the teachers what they deserve, and we need to show that to them now. Imagine the photo ops you would get if you did right by your teachers. Thank you. Thank you, ma'am. Thank you. Um, 